Cash Nation, let's talk DC. Jonathan Nolan says he would absolutely return to work on the Batman franchise. Jonathan co-wrote the Dark Knight trilogy with brother Christopher Nolan. Honest to God, absolutely give it to me, please. But it probably won't happen. Tom Kavanaugh to appear in the final season of Superman Lois. Why? Why? What's the point? We know, we know why, but what's, what's the point, you know? Batman Cape Crusader officially premieres August 1st on Prime Video cool and you watch this because i'm probably not to be honest mark strong has been cast in the penguin his trainer has confirmed awesome love him as an actor can't wait to watch him in the penguin supergirl woman of tomorrow releases on june 26 2026 filming is slated to begin later this year awesome the final season of Superman Lois released this fall on Thursday nights on the CW. Cannot wait. My adventures with Superman season three and four have been creatively approved and outlined, but haven't been renewed yet, says Jake Wyatt. I have not watched this show, period. I know Jack Quay from The Boys voices Superman himself, but I, I just not take the time to watch any television recently, unfortunately. But if you've watched the show so far, let me know in the comment section below if you like it or not. Damon Lindelof lost the Watchmen, his credits and Chris Mundy, Ozark, are writing the Lanterns series for DC. Cool. I didn't like Watchmen, never watched Lost, never watched Ozark, so hopefully they do a good job. The release schedule for DC Films is shaping up. We have Joker fully duet, I can't say the daggone name, Joker 2, uh, October 4, 2024. You have Superman, July 11, 2025. Supergirl, One with Tomorrow, June 2026. The Batman Part 2, October 2nd, 2026. So there you have it. So to look forward to hopefully superman is halfway done with filming james gunn confirms so superman set photos have leaked of his suit and more i'll react to that in another video i got y'all don't worry lady gaga says her version of harley quinn and joker 2 is really vulnerable and very authentic to this movie what i will say is that i've never done anything like i've done this movie before uh, i've never watched lady gaga in my life act unfortunately so i don't know how good or bad she is i've heard good things about her and that one movie with Bradley Cooper, but I'm sure based on the trailer itself, she gives an amazing and immaculate performance, and I cannot wait to watch it. Superman, the Christopher Reeve story releases on September 21st in theaters. The documentary follows how Christopher Reeve found strength and purpose through activism after he was paralyzed in an equestrian accident. So there you have it. I'm uh, gonna watch this when it drops theaters. Why, why not? Creature Commando's first look will be at the NSC Festival on June 14th. I'm sure it's going to be a great show. Joker 2 will likely premiere at the Venice Film Festival in September. The first film won the Golden Lion, the highest prize given to a film at the festival. So this sounds great. I'm sure it'll win another award because if the first one was great, this will probably be a lot better. Let's we'll wait and see. Christopher McDonald will play Ron Troop in James Gunn's Superman. Don't know who this guy is, but uh, cool. James Gunn confirms Beck Bennett has been cast as Superman. He's playing Daily Planet reporter Steve Lombard. Ooh. Michaela Hoover has been cast as Cat Grant in James Gunn's Superman. Awesome. The Penguin premieres on Max in September. Creature Commandos premieres December 2024. Awesome. Tim Meadows has been cast in Peacemaker Season 2. Greg Matola, Superbad, will also direct episodes of the series. Cool. DC confirms the Watchmen anime project is now two films. Part one releases in 2024 and part two releases in 2025. CG films, it's a leap forward for a DC cinematic animation. Um, Sounds awesome, might give it a watch. And of course, let me know what you think. A Blue Beetle animated series is in the works. The series will serve as some sort of continuation of the movie. Cool. Peacemaker season two will now have a new opening dance number. Chris Pratt has visited the set of James Gunn, Superman. I mean, this, this doesn't really mean much. Probably guy wanted to visit the set, see how things are going with James. And uh, if you think he's in the movie, by the way, I doubt it. Batman, Kick Crusader, voice cast so far. Amish Linklater as Batman. Jamie Chung, Harley Quinn. Christiana Ritchie, Catwoman. Diedrich Bader, Two-Face. Other voices include Reed Scott, Eric Morgan, Stewart, Gary Anthony Williams, and more. Prime video, August 1st. So, honestly, I know Hamish, the, the voice he gives is okay. The rest these people have to wait and see any circus reveals the batman 2 begins filming in early 2025 cannot wait dc's kite man series releases on july 18th 
on Max. James Gunn confirms he will not be attending SDCC this year as he will still be filming. So honestly, not surprised if he's, I mean, how would he, all I think he'd do is show up and show maybe a teaser, but that's really it. So I'm sure he'll be there next year with some awesome Superman footage and much more to show us. Kai Men will be Lance Riddick's final TV series. He's reportedly voicing Lex Luthor. Cannot wait. I'm watching it for that only reason. Lance Riddick is in it. I want to see it. They record sweats. Superman will have the yellow logo on his cape. Trust me, I got you on my reaction and thoughts. Leaks that photos. Don't worry.